We've got Raphael Puig, uh, Ultimate Fighting Club from France. This uh, should be our third fighter from France this evening. Uh, his teammate, Fabien Comenu, rather, fought before. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing what Raphael can do tonight. Yeah, final checks by Alan Jackson on the outside of the cage. Uh, Raphael Pugh. Now we've got our second fighter in a blue corner, Ben Brooks, about to make the walk to the cage, fighting out of a elite training centre. Yeah, another one of the elite training centre guys, so we know what to expect with these guys. They're always in great condition, very, very well trained by the guys down there. It should be an interesting one. Got Ben Brooks in the cage. He looks ready, he looks prepared. Fighting of a elite training center. And Rafa Pugue from Ultimate Fighting Club. Once again, in the red corner, representing Ultimate Fight Club in France, Rafa Pugue. And in the blue corner, representing Elite MMA. Ben Brooks has not took his eyes off his opponents as he stepped inside that cage. Indeed. Very focused. It's like he's looking through his uh, soul and looking into his soul. Straight into, straight through. Quick touch of gloves and a nice left kick from uh, Ben there. And he's got the guillotine, he dropped straight down for it. But Raphael managed to pop his head out nice and easy. So Raphael in top position. This is an A-class fight, so there is ground and pound on the floor. Looks and like ben. um, Ben's going for something. It looked like he possibly went for a triangle, then changed it to an implata, but Raphael managed to spot those and uh, reverse it into a top position for him. So north-south at the minute, Ben working well off his back, Raphael doing really well, that was a lovely step over straight into mount position there, absolutely great. Ben yep. needs to be really look careful of that left arm, it's really high and it's really straight, he could switch this to an arm bar. Yeah, and Raphael is not giving him any space at all. No, Raphael's control looks amazing on the floor. Very, very tight. I love that step over to take his, well, take, half take his back, half mount. And now he's straight onto his back. Got both hooks in. This is another France versus England bout. See if French can pull one back for the country. We can't quite see what's happening with the hands at the moment from this position, but it looks like he's going for a rear naked. Ben needs to be careful. It looks like it's underneath the neck. It looks tight. He needs to keep hand fighting. Raphael, uh, 
paying attention to instructions from his corner. Yeah, Ben's doing a good job. He slightly turned his head so it's not completely on his windpipe. And pulling down with that hand. It does look tight. Excellent work by Ben, not giving up. Yeah, excellent work by Ben. Really well done. The crowd appreciates it. Indeed, that's impressive uh, jits we've seen there. Some good groundwork from both fighters. And Rafael goes for an armbar. You may have it. It does look tight. Oh, you can see the grimace in Ben's face, but he's still hanging on. Very calm. Yeah, he's a tough lad. It did look nice and straight a minute ago. I think he might have it controlled now. Again, we can't quite see from this position where we are. Raphael's grappling is excellent, though. You know, he hit that, he hit that switch and, and went to the mount position, then took the back. Now he's in this armbar position. Some great grappling by the French fighter. Ben managed to pull out, finishing strong with some good ground and pound. End of the round, great round. Indeed, uh, very impressive for both fighters. They came out uh, all business. Yeah, really, really good round. These French guys, they come over to fight, I've said it time and again. The Art of War guys and the Ultimate Fight Club. You know, they're not coming over here to make up the numbers, they're coming over to win. So if you was in the corner, what would you be saying to Ben Brooks right now? Ben, I'd tell Ben to um, keep... Uh, the fight from the outside because he's the longer of the two fighters use his jab and just be patient because he knows Rafael is good on the ground he is good on the ground as well but I'd say with him being the taller fighter he should use his range to his advantage what about uh, Rafael what instructions you give him well we've seen he's very very aggressive off his back and very aggressive on the ground so I'd like to see him maybe try and shoot him for a double take him down and work that top position and, or, or even pull guard possibly because, you know, he's got great hips off his back. Indeed. Again, Flurry strikes from Ben. Very aggressive. We've got Rafael shooting in for a takedown and Ben's managed to sprawl. Yeah, Ben came out 100% there, didn't he? He really wanted to uh, be the aggressor in the, the start of that round. He's managed to land on top. Yep. Let's see what Rafael can do off his back again. He's working really well to get the guard back. Ben's doing well though. Nice little bit of nice ground and pound. Indeed. Lovely shot there. Some to the left body. hands. Nice kicks uh, to the legs by Ben. Yeah, and a guard. lovely pass with a big left hand as well. It seems like his shots are really taking his toll on Ben. Because Ben now is not as active as he was in the first round in the ground. Rafael. Rafael, sorry. I'm so excited by watching uh, what's happening in front of me. Keep losing track of the names. So back to the action. We've got Rafael's in full guard now. Ben on top. Seems to have slowed just a little bit. Came out really fast at the start of the round. But opens up with a couple of good left hands there. Rafael's hanging on. Rafael needs oh, lovely to left hand there by uh, Ben right through the guard. And the shots are definitely going through. We might have a finish here very soon. Oh, that was a lovely left hand. Ben's giving him no chance. Just raining shots on him. Now he's taking his back. I'd like to see him get his hooks in first before he goes for a rain naked. If uh, Rafael had noticed that... The the legs weren't hooked in. I think he could have booked him off. He's got the hooks in now, though. Going for this rear naked. Could be tight. Yeah, looks, looks like, like he's in. got it. And that's and a tap. Perfect performance by uh, Ben Brooks. Excellent performance. Can't take come, come from behind win there by Ben. Indeed. He was very aggressive from start to finish. Never took the eyes or his eyes off the opponent. And uh, Rafael looks uh, really hurt. Hopefully he's okay. Yeah, just going to quickly get the medics in because obviously the fire safety is paramount on Battle Arena. We've got a great referee and great medical team. Yeah, I think Ben Brooks landed a couple of really, really strong left hands. I think it might have rocked him and then obviously 
lock that choke in nice and tight. So medical staff just giving uh, Rafael some attention now. I'm sure he will be fine, just a little bit hazy at the end of the fight. Yeah, and also um, the adrenaline dump kind of takes a toll, but uh, it's part of the fight game and uh, looks like it should be uh, fine within the next few minutes or so. Again, back to Ben Brooks, very impressive performance. He came out um, aggressive from start and to finish. Very good striking um, and uh, yeah, good all-round performance. What do you think, Carsten? Yeah, excellent performance by young Ben Brooks. Um, came out very strong at the start, you know, um, got the takedown. Unfortunately, Rafael, you know, did excellent in the first round. Um, took his back, uh, took them out, took his back. Had a couple of really, really close submission attempts. Um, but Ben, you know, come from behind, win, absolutely awesome in the in the second round. That top position, landed some great shots and then really good finish with the rear naked choke. And an excellent show of respect just happened there in the cage. You know, Rafael, tired, went straight over to Ben, congratulated him. Indeed. And I think he's coming out now to see the medical staff a little bit more now. Over to the MC for the decision. So there's a little bit of confusion at the end of the fight. I'm, uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on. I'm sure the MC will clear it up in a minute for us. see what happened but obviously Mr Paul Nichols did and uh, gave a ruling over that. 